Hi, we're talking holidays and football with Robert Porsche and nobody better to talk about both than Robert. And Robert, we've got one of the big ones coming up here in, in Detroit on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day at Ford Field. What do you remember as a young player on Thanksgiving Day? You played 13 years with the Detroit Lions. Must be some great memories. But how did it start as a kid who came to Detroit from South Carolina State and played in the National Football League for a dozen years? The Thanksgiving before I got drafted in 91, 1991, we were at home at my parents' house and we were watching, of course, um, Thanksgiving Day game, Dallas and Detroit. And I just remember... Uh, Jerry Ball had a phenomenal game. Eric Kramer, I think, had, yeah, he was a quarterback. He had a great game. I had no clue, like, the next, the same time the following year, I would be there playing. So fast forward to uh, November of 92 when I got drafted. The first thing I thought about that day when I um, was at my locker getting dressed, when I was sitting there, I was just like, man, a year ago, I had no idea I would be actually playing in this game because back then, you know, those were the only two games on TV. And, um, you know, everybody kind of, I think, kind of set their meals and what they were doing, either to have it before the game or in between both games or after the games. And we always kind of tried to, my parents always liked hours before the game started. So that was the first memory that jumped out. Let me ask you this. So what was it like running out, running through that tunnel? Because this is, this is, as much as it's, the players' game and the media's game, it's the fans' game, right? What's right. it like running out of that tunnel at, at the old Pontiac Silverdome, 80,000 fans' place pack? That was a, a great place to watch it for. Well, whenever, whenever it was uh, sold out and packed, and of course Thanksgiving game was always like that, it was always like a little cloudy kind of haze up top um, in the Silverdome. I, I don't know what that was from. But, you know, the people, the fans were already from you know, from tailgating, they were already amped up. They were ready to go. And um, it was always an exciting time. So many people uh, plan their trips back home around that game to come home and see family. And of course, you know, do their traditional thing where they've been coming to the game since they were kids. So it was always, it was always exciting. Well, your timing was pretty good though, Robert, when you got to Detroit, because I think they made the playoffs five times in your first seven years there. And you know, a couple of division championships and double digit wins and things like that. Let me ask you, were you like 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 the fans and, and all that, like when the schedule came out, first thing you looked at, who do we play on Thanksgiving Day? Always. What are our Monday night games? Always. Always Thanksgiving then Monday night. It's just part of that tradition of being there. I, you know, I don't know how the guys feel about it now, but you know, it was it was it was a big deal for all of us that played during, you know, the, the, the errors that I played in. And I wonder if you're able to, if you're aware of some of the other traditions in Detroit on Thanksgiving Day, like the parade and the turkey t trot races on, on Woodward Avenue and all that. It just seemed, the whole thing just seemed to wrap together, all centered around or centered on the Detroit the Lions football game. Because look, they started the game in 1934, and that's a tradition unlike many others in professional Correct. Sport. Correct. Yes, I am very familiar with that. And, um, you know, I'm the year I retired, I was the uh, Grand Marshal for the parade. And for the next three, four years, I think I did, I did the distinguished clown, you know, so <laughs> because, <laughs> which was which was cool, you know, to to do that and walk walk the parade route. And I remember the first year I did it, this little kid was like, "Hey, that sure is a big clown right there." <laughs> now you've been retired for 16, 17 years. You still watch football, and you still watch the game on Thanksgiving Day. But you see what you see what I'm repping, right? That's good. I see I'm, it. I, I, this is all. This is me every day. You know, as uh, we talked about the fans, and the fans are probably involved in the game and engaged in the game more than ever with such things as fantasy football, and also there's this, the prol proliferation now of online gaming and and you know using mobile. What do you think of that? Now that uh, gambling is going to be legalized here pretty soon in the state of Michigan, how important is it to, that the fans get engaged in in, in the in the sport that way uh I, you know i when i played which was a long time ago it was just the uh, it was just something that was kind of forbidden and really not talked about um as my career was back wrapping up that's when the uh, fantasy football just was really start getting started i think it's been good for the game um because you know when i talk to a lot of people uh and, and especially females you know they're really engaged 
in the game now because of you know their fantasy team. So I think it has brought more people to the game that you know you love and I, I definitely love. And I think anything that's legally uh, propelling the game forward is a plus in my book. Well, Robert Porsche, we put your time one of the Detroit Lions all-time legends, a member of the all-time Detroit Lions team, and have you and your family a very, very happy thing. Thank you, man. Seeing you, man. Good seeing you, man.